In northernmost Europe lies the country of Finland, a land of beauty, history, streetcars, and some of the strictest driving regulations in the world, but also some of the longest words in the world. So I'm about to attempt the first two stages of obtaining my driver's license here at the Vantan Likenutrov, uh, let's just say the driving school. The word actually translates to driver's training center, and this is just one of the stops everyone in Finland must go to in order to get their full driver's license. Many people, even when they are very good at, at, at school, they think that it's very easy, but it's not so simple. You have to show to the inspectors that uh, your driving skills are good. You can control yourself, the car, environment, and your driving is safe. How did I do? Well, we'll get there. Don't you worry about that. As for the driving test, like most Americans, you get a provisional driver's license. In Finland, it's at minimum 18 years old. But from there, it's a strict two-year process to obtain your permanent license. However, that license lasts until you're 70 years old. So better take a good picture and remember to smile. One portion of the process entails more schooling and learning in and out of the car. Well, in the beginning, first, the uh, candidate has to do a self-assessment. Um, in uh, seven different categories, like um, traffic situation, handling the uh, car. Here in Finland, safety is the number one priority, and students are taught to adapt to change. Of course, to promote the safety of, of all the citizens, and we, we have done that by through the driving schools. Along with knowing how to actually drive the car, students learn to maintain their rides as well. That's because Big Brother is watching with random police safety checkpoints all the time. We have traffic control so much that uh, people have a, a feeling that uh, they will get uh, caught. When we have breath tests and everything, we have speeding control so much that I think it's quite good. And because Finland is truly a land of four weather seasons, drivers need to know how to navigate the wheel regardless of conditions. And that starts at the slippery road course. That's where I found firsthand that training really pays off. There are few things in life scarier than being behind the wheel on an icy and snowy road when all of a sudden a moose runs across the road. Oh, no. Oops. We weren't able to get on the road at night for instruction. Fortunately, there's simulators like these that help the student learn how to drive in any and every condition. The night simulator is one option for students and instructors when real driving is not possible. But let's be clear, this is as serious as the in-car driving. And clearly, I needed some extra guidance. After finally mastering that, I decided to ask two expert Finnish drivers, rally car champion Marcus Grunholm and F1 driver Heikki Kovalin. Driving in rally, always you are thinking about the time and you have to be quick and, and so, okay, it's a little bit the same <laughs> these days in, in the traffic. Uh, it's quite common in Finland, people start very early, so it's, it's not that you you have to be a Formula One driver to, to feel like that. Actually, a, a common driver in Finland is, is able to handle the car very early. I had the chance to drive with Heikki around the track at Premier Park, a unique training course and business conference center in Porvo, to see how my emergency car handling skills were progressing. Okay, back to the real question. So how did I do? Do I get a driver's license? After practicing a couple of years, but uh, do, I, do I get points for the for the name? Uh, no, please say it. All right, it's Likenitravalisuskuskus. Uh, I'm not sure if any Finnish can understand that one. <laughs> 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 where where you want to go. So it's a Vantan Likenitravalisuskuskus. That's the place where we have been. Uh, exactly what she said. Well, it looks like I'm going to need a little more practice. Oh, oh. So getting a driver's license in Finland is indeed a privilege, a notion we Yanks could certainly afford to import here. <laughs>